Hello and welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. Thank you ever so much for tuning in. I received numerous requests for about which piano library I was using in my most recent upload, where I taught you how to play a wonderful arrangement of a very nice Christmas song. And nobody watched that video. Why not? Don't tell me. Well, your wish is my command. In this video, I will reveal to you the mystery piano. So the video you're just about to see, I just realized for the entire 12 minutes, I was talking into the microphone this way around, talking into the back side of the microphone. Now, I did think about reshooting it, but I thought we can live with my boxy and slightly muffled voice. So sorry about that. You know what? It's really hard to keep track of everything when you're filming a video solo, solo like this. You have to keep track of the, the uh, audio tracks from the keyboard, the voice. You have to manage the camera. You have to remember what to say. You have to remember... Really? Talking into the back of the microphone? What an idiot! This guy is a real noob! As you might be able to see on the screen, this is Alicia's keys. This is not what I used for the Christmas track, although this is a wonderful plug-in and I am switching between this one all the time. I just simply can't decide which I like the most, but I do use Alicia's keys for a lot of my lessons. What I'm actually using, if I can disable that one for you, it's all a little bit tricky doing these recordings because I need the low latency drivers to capture the virtual instrument and the microphone I have to capture in Audacity because that's on a different driver. You cannot have multiple ACO drivers going, ah, I won't bore you with the details, it's uh, quite complicated. Here's the plugin that I was using. Let's enable it. There we go, pop it out. It was Piano Tech. Now, this is the default instrument that you get with Piano Tech. It's endorsed by Steinway and Sons. And I'm using the vanilla preset, which I believe to be this one here, Steinway D Prelude. This is the first preset that loads up when you instantiate this uh, Piano Tech stage plugin. Now, this is interesting. You just heard me playing. Uh, Alicia's Keys, which is a six or seven gigabyte sample library from Native Instruments. This by Piano Tech is measured in tens or hundreds of megabytes because this is a virtually modeled uh, instrument. This one does not use samples at all. As far as I know, it's just simply doing mathematical models of the hammers, hitting the strings, the sound that they make, the strings vibrating interacting with the other strings and the resonance and the effect of the soundboard on the grand piano. Sounds like this. Okay, obviously I'm using a very small keyboard here because it's what uh, fits on the desk right now and what I had to hand. So we've got to be creative with the octave shift buttons. 
this is not intended to be a fully featured demo of any of these instruments. I'm just showing you what I used for the previous one. But I did not actually use this instrument. This is the Steinway Prelude, which is included with Pianotech. All the versions. Sounds fabulous. No, I used a different instrument. Now this one uh, is a slightly uh, older instrument, I guess, because it's been with Piano Tech for years, although I assume they've been tweaking it as every new version comes. But what I'm going to show you now, and this is what I used for the Christmas song, is their newly released uh, extra instrument. It's based on the Petrov 275 classical piano. The first one was a Steinway Model D. Let's open up the Prelude, and this is a $50 add-on to Piano Tech. Sounds like this. Okay, but that's not what I used either. I was looking for a much more uh, mellow, dark, uh, sustained sound. So as I was clicking through some of the presets here, I got to one that they called Dreamy. This is the one I used for the performance. It sounds like this. That's more like it. I'll tell you what, I can play you the performance at the end of the video. It's only about a minute long, so you'll be able to hear how I utilise this piano. Uh, I think the song went... Um I'll play you the whole thing at the end instead. So this is the mystery piano that I used to do the performance of the Holly and the Ivy. Exactly what I was looking for. Quite a mellow sound, but very, very rich and smooth and fat. thing here I was looking at some of the effects they're using you can see that in the section over here they're actually putting a phase on this perhaps to give it a slightly added tune sound I'm not sure without the phaser let me take off all the effects there's an equalization and a reverb So yeah, this is the cheapest version of Pianotech. It's called Pianotech Stage. You don't get very much in the way of tweaking possibilities on the piano. What you can do is adjust some of the effects, the equalizer, the mallet bounce, which I don't really use very much. And you can adjust a few parameters about the action, how much key noise and so on there is. That's pretty much it. You can adjust the velocity here as well, but that's okay for me. I don't really want to be tweaking the pianos. Just want to play them really. Let's go back to the uh, vanilla version of this Petrov one more time. I'll show you a few other tweaks that I like. Just 
it's had that sinking feeling when you're not sure if you've started recording. I think we're rolling, yes we are. So yeah, one thing I like to do, and this is available to you on the stage version of Piano Tech. This is a perfectly tuned piano. What you can do is drag this slider here uh, and it ranges from mint to worn and everywhere in between. Let's drag this down. To halfway. Now we start to get a interesting funkier sound. I don't know about you, but I've never played a grand piano that's perfectly in tune. They often sound something like this. Man, maybe not quite that bad. I'm on about 7 to 10 on the scale of warmness. Let's just push that back a little bit. That piano definitely needs some attention. It gets a bit radical once you get past 50%. Almost honky tonk. It would be if I dragged it down a bit more. Okay, we've gone way overboard now, but I just wanted to demonstrate that because it does, I think, you don't want to go crazy with this, but if you just knock it down from mint to somewhere around there, there's the scale there to there, put it somewhere there. sure if you would play honky tonk on a Petrov concert grand but there you go so that's pretty much what I had to say I can't figure out what I prefer do I like piano tech or the native instrument stuff let's swap back to that one so you can hear it again so if we disable that one I'm going to jump back down to my effects track it's hard to see what I'm doing here because the microphone's in the way Let's re-enable our uh, that one. Alicia's keys. Take another listen. Here, I don't know if you can adjust the tuning. I don't think so. It's lacking a little bit of the life and the realism that I think you got with the slightly detuned piano tech physical model. And that's the advantage of physical modeling. You can do these kind of tweaks where you can adjust the condition of the instrument using just a slider there. You can do some adjustments of this one as well, adjusting the tone from bright to sort of uh, warmer, softer sound, opening the piano lid and that kind of thing. But it's all done with sampling and I presume a little bit of physical modeling. Piano Tech is purely physical modeling. So that's what I had to share with you today. I will be in a future video doing a more controlled shootout, if that's the kind of thing that interests you, of uh, a couple of the native instruments pianos, plus the Piano Tech Petrov and the Steinway D. We'll do a more controlled test of those so you can really hear which one is your favorite. And then perhaps we'll even put them up against the Modi X, which also has a wonderful sampled grand piano that has their concert cfx grand and some bosendorfer samples so that's something we'll definitely try out in the future as well and sorry about the playing it was a little bit ropey but it's actually a very uncomfortable position right now just to get everything in the camera i know i'm making excuses but I'm kind of a long way from the keyboard here and having to position myself so I can see into the camera. It's just all a bit awkward and I've got a sustain pedal that is sliding around. And obviously this kind of somewhat flimsy A49, but it gets the job done for this kind of demos. As I say, we'll do a more controlled test uh, coming up in the very near future.
I hope then you enjoyed that video and got some value out of it. Of course, if you're on the market for a new software piano, it's important to understand the differences between a physically modeled piano and a sample library. So I hope this video was helpful and you got to hear how the two sounded. Coming up on the channel very soon is an audio shootout of four very popular software pianos. So keep an eye out for that. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And thank you ever so much if you have. And remember also to check out my website if you haven't got around to doing that yet. Thanks ever so much. I'll see you again soon. See you later. Cheerio.